minute for the closing remarks, and we will start with you, Mr. Kinnaman. Mm -hmm. My closing remark would just like to remind everybody to please do the absentee ballot, or if you haven't already done it, write it in, or on election day, primary day, write in Willie German. There's an explanation on how to do it on the back of the little flyer that we have over here. Willie needs your support. That'll get his name on a printed ballot in November. So Bill Heisinger will actually have competition in the 2nd Congressional District. Like I said, Willie stepped forward. We needed somebody to run in this highly contested race, President Obama needs his help and supporting some of the policies and programs that President Obama would like to get that Bill Heisman won't support because he's a Republican. So we need to get a Democrat in that 2nd Congressional District. Willie is our good candidate and we appreciate your support on primary day. Write him in. We have $1,500, $1,500 So if you would do that, we really greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Just like to uh, solicit your support. I am a hard worker. I worked hard to include the young people who have not been an active part of elections to uh, train them to be election inspectors. They get paid. So if you have any youth that would like to uh, learn more about the election process, uh, please send them my way. I've trained uh, eight new people this time, a total of about 14 new young people. Um, so I would like that support. Um, so give them uh, my information and have them contact me. I'm also a hard worker. Not only do I try to uh, keep the clerk's office moving forward, I try to advance myself. I'm the first uh, clerk to attain their certified municipal clerk certification. It was a three-year process. So in my four years, I've, I've attained that. I've also worked on the Muskegon Township Government Academy to uh, educate myself more on the process, done networking all across the state, so want your support for how to work. I'm sorry. Uh, Nancy uh, Waters would appreciate your support on August 7th. Her brochure says vote Democrat August 7th Experience count. She will provide better service for you with experienced leadership before our count. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I'm Eric Rokoff, running for county treasurer. Uh, the two points that I, I'm running on was the fact that we should work more with the cities and townships to get all the taxes that are due and not um, punish one over the other. Uh, and also, I'm there running in order to have. Uh, more transparency and better with the sales of foreclosed houses so that everyone has a chance of getting a foreclosed house and that the sales go through quickly and effectively. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've got almost nine years experience in government office and uh, I believe I've served my constituents well and the county well and I'm just asking for your support on August 7th. Thank you. Thank you. In my case, August 7th is my election. There's no election in November. Um, I think that it says quite a bit that my opponent isn't here today. Um, I'll let that speak for itself. Um, I've been working for the entire, I represent Norton Shores. I'm working for the entire county and I'd like to point out that um, I've been a lifetime member of the NAACP for many, quite a few years. And actually, I was sorry when I paid it off because I no longer get a nice letter and phone call from Bernice every year uh, <laughs> wanting my money. Um, but she promised to keep sending me letters, but you didn't this year. So um, anyway, I appreciate your support on August 7th, and I'll work hard for you. Again, my name is Charles Nash. I'm candidate for District 6 County Commissioner. I'm asking for your support on August 7th. You know, I just believe that I have the, the passion, uh, the, the hard work and ethic, and uh, um, the, the most experience uh, and desire to want to serve the people of this community. Uh, I am a true servant of the people, uh, and that's been a long before I was ever a county commissioner or ever before I was a school board representative. But I think if you look at the facts of the things that I did with the school board, and you look at the things that I've done with the county, 
Uh, I've pushed policies, I've pushed issues, and I've tried to help to make things uh, so that we can all have a better quality of life. Yes, Commissioner Longmire, um, representing District 6. Uh, and just in closing, I just wanted to say that uh, you know, two years is not enough as a county commissioner to, to really do anything, as I said before. Uh, so I just would like to continue the progress that we've made uh, in, in my term as city commissioner so we can continue that uh, going forward, moving forward. Continue the sustainability uh, job that our sustainability coordinator has done. And just, just keep up uh, the, the, the improvements, the mass improvements with transportation, the bus system. And um, you know, I, I would like to say that it was just unfortunate that uh, Mr. Nash and myself are running against each other because that splits the, the, the black vote in our district. And, it, and it's unfortunate that the uh, boundary lines in our district were drawn up the way that they were drawn up. Um, so in closing, I would like the support of my constituency to continue another two years as county commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Joshua Eldon Grady, also District 6, and would like to remind everybody District 6 is another primary only race. It will be determined on the 7th of August. Um, just a, a quick wrap up. I'm running because I look around, I look at our county justice system, and it's shameful. It's so shameful that the ACLU's targeted us as one of three counties in a statewide lawsuit about our public defender system. And I'm here because I want to be back here in two years and I want to be able to tell you in two years that I'm proud of how we treat people in our justice system. Because right now I'm not. Right now I'm ashamed of how we treat people. And that's what I'm running to change. That's what I'm running to do. And to be able to stand up, like uh, Bob Skolnick said, <clears throat> and say, as a community leader, this is what I've done. As a commissioner, this is what I've done, and I'm proud of it. Thank you. Marcia Covey Wright, running for re-election in the 92nd District. Uh, I, I uh, <coughs> am running, again, because uh, I think I've done a good job. People have appreciated what I've done, my accessibility, the responsible way I uh, approach votes. Uh, I've, I've worked very hard uh, where I can on bipartisan, on issues that can be bipartisan. I listen to both sides. You can count on my votes for things like um, labor rights, women's rights, access to health care, um, civil rights, uh, and protecting the social safety net. So I ask for your vote. I do have a primary and a general election. Uh, I have opponents in both. So I need you to uh, support me on August 7th and November 6th. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Mark Curtis, I'm running for prosecuting attorney. The most important date is, like everybody keeps saying, is going to be August 7th. Um, that's when the prosecutor's race will be decided. That's when this community has its chance for the first time in 24 years to pick a new prosecuting attorney. I think it's time that we change things. I think it's time that this community actually gets the ability to step forward and have a voice in the prosecutor's office and a voice in what we should be doing and how we should be moving forward. It's time to break the cycle of arrest, incarcerate, repeat. It's time to break that and let's actually move this community forward. Thank you. Uh, DJ Hilson running for Muskegon County Prosecutor. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the NAACP for uh, holding this forum. Thank you very much. These are always fun and enjoyable and uh, gets us thinking on our feet a little bit. Uh, I am the candidate with the proven experience. I've been a prosecutor or assistant prosecutor now for over 12 years. I've tried several felony cases, over 60 of them. Uh, I am the new generation of leadership in this community. I have community ties, not only with my family, but I've been out in the community uh, doing things in the community. Uh, and the most important thing is that uh, the support that I've, I've garnered over through this campaign process. As I indicated in the beginning, I've ele elected officials have it, endorsed me, like Nancy Waters. Uh, the legal community has endorsed me, like Jim Waters. And, and it, those are flattering things because they've seen me in action, they know what I am, they know what I'm about, and they know that I can I have the integrity, the good judgment demanded this of the Office of the Prosecutor, and I look forward to being the new generation of leadership moving this office forward. And the last but not least most important thing is that the assistant prosecutors are behind me as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
My name is Raymond Randy Castrava, and I am asking to be elected to the next, uh, as the next 14th Circuit Court Judge. It's been an honor to serve our community as an assistant prosecutor for almost 20 years. Before that, I worked uh, with a private law firm in the Detroit area handling medical malpractice defense cases. I served in the public defense system in the city of Detroit. I have experience on both sides of the table. Um, I volunteered in our community uh, with the United Way of the Lakeshore. I'm a former AMBUX member because I believe those organizations positively impact our community. I volunteered for years with the Muskegon Exchange Club, as I mentioned, uh, trying to impact our youth before they commit crimes. I volunteered as a coach and mentor in basketball, football, and baseball. But the bottom line is this, for the last 20 years, I've, every day of my professional career, I've opened the courtroom doors and tried the most serious cases in Muskegon County in an effort to keep our community safe. I'm going to ask that you elect experience to the bench, real experience, and I appreciate your support on August 7th. Thank you very much. David Wells running for Circuit Court Judge. I told you about my years of experience as a trial attorney in Muskegon and my years of experience as a dispute resolver. It's also very important that our judges have a close connection to the community. You need to know the challenges and the opportunities of the people in the community in order to uh, uh, and analyze the issues well and to sentence well. I've been extremely involved in my community. community. I've been a, a resident uh, all my life. I'm a fourth generation Muskegon person. I uh, have been a foster parent for all different uh, colors and styles of uh, children. I have been, uh, I received an award from Michigan State University for setting up a program for uh, uh, disadvantaged and minority students in high school to be exposed to medical programs. I've been involved in countless organizations in the community, including the Disability Awareness Center. Please vote for me on August 7th. Karen Grunhout, running for Circuit Court Judge. I also have a wealth of experience. I ask you to pick up my paperwork so you can go over that. I think the main thing that I want everyone to know is that if we are going to make this community change and we are going to move forward, we're actually going to put these sort of programs in place. You have to elect the people that have the passion for the program. I am here today because I go into my clients' homes. I see the problems. I actually know this community day in and day out. I'm in the homes, I'm in the courtroom, and I understand that. And I started this passion for drug court in Muskegon County. I am the one person I I believe that will actually advance it, go for it, and put it into place. It's going to be a ton of work. It is going to be an unbelievable amount of work to get this up and get it running. Elect somebody who's actually going to do it and move Muskegon County forward. Thank you.